Hey there, folks. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. Anyways, that being said, we got my new PSA dagger there. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to do the first shots video, and we're going to be shooting a variety of ammos. We're going to go over and show you what we're going to be shooting, and then we're going to get started. I'll let you know each magazine what I pick out first, and let's get it on. First going to be the Federal Range 115 grain full metal jacket. And uh, we're just going to be shooting some steel this morning, seeing what we can do. This is the first ever shots out of this PSA dagger. She chambered. Let's see what we can do. Right. See if I can figure out what the hold is on it. We're shooting. I'll scoot over just a little bit. We're shooting right here about uh, 16, 17 yards. So we're back to the table a little bit. All right, here we go. There we go. Pretty good group so far. All right, see if I can eat nail some targets. What's that? What's that? What about a little random? Oh, we nailed him. What about that one up top? Nailed it. What about this little one? Yeah, I can't tell if we hit it or not. What about this one down here? Yeah. Oh, what about that peanut? This one with that peanut. Oh, yeah. What about that little silhouette right there? Oh, see it. All right. It like that federal range. Let's move, continue. The good fireballs, it ain't all the way daylight yet. All right, now we got the Sierra 115 grain jacketed hollow point. See how they do. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna shoot that square target now. Lock it. Lock it. Get that little one right there. Come on, we get it. All right, back to the big silhouette. Tell me about it. Get that big round plane. It shoots a little high with this. Come on, let's get a little red. There we go. This is a few of them planes. All right, yep, it shoots a little high with that. that good shoots that a little bit high all right now we got the blazer brass 124 grain full metal jacket i'm gonna see how she feels one-handed timmy bobby Not doing too good, one head. Go back two head. All right, it likes it. Didn't too good, good one handed there. I will say that right here, right here, kind of digging that finger a little bit. So I might have to file that down a little bit or something. May I figure that out? But she's shooting good. Now we got the Norma MHP monolithic hollow points. So we're testing out hollow points and we're testing out a full metal jacket in there. See how good it all runs. Hopefully we can find a few of these 
a little bit when we get done here. All right, here we go. Right there. 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 We rock it with them MHPs. They right on the money there. Callaway Ballistics, 115 grain total metal jacket. And of course, a big shout out to Callaway Ballistics for helping Rusty out the channel on this ammo. And big shout out to Sierra for helping Rusty out the channel with that ammo. All right, here we go. The rest of it was purchased out of pocket. All right, here we go. Ooh, it threw that brass right up and hit me in the head. <laughs> Every other one of them, though, it's been ejected away from me good, so that's a good thing. All right, we'll finish that on Timmy Bobby there. I only had one more. A <laughs> uh, couple of them mags, them mag pull mags come with it. I can only get 14 rounds in. Now we got our last one here. This is the Sierra 124 grain full metal jacket. These ought to do really good. Seems like 124 grain fly a little straighter. This is about everything. All right. So I'm actually going to step up to about... 13 yards or so and see if I can't run the whole range with what we got. We're about 14 yards right here because 15 yard marks right there and then the length of my arms probably sticking out a yard. So about 13, 14 yards right here. All right, it didn't look like I was going to read up and run steel, so I just stick with the big ones on that. Uh, that's several rounds through there, folks. That's uh, one, two, three, six, six magazines at 15 rounds. So, well, 15 times three is 45, so that's 90 rounds. So we ran about 90 rounds. A couple of them, I think, I only got 14 in. But we ran about 90 rounds through it. Uh, this is out of the box. I've not adjusted the sights. I probably would, depending on what I carried in this, I'd probably want to knock the sights over to the right just to hire. But with the normal MHPs, it seemed right on the money. It seemed any pulling to the left was just done by, by me. But I tell you, I like that trigger on it, that flat-faced hinge trigger. Uh, the recoil management feels pretty good. Uh, it didn't feel like it had a modern muzzle flip to it to me, and uh, I really like it. And uh, I think Rusty will like it too, because, you know, he's a big-time Glock fan, and this is a Glock clone. And he keeps saying that it's Glock, but it's not. It's a PSA dagger from Palmetto State Armory. And I give it a you know, I'd shoot it a little more, but I do give it a thumbs up. 
uh, for out of the box. We hit most of the shots. Like I say, I'd like to knock it over the sights over to the right just to hire for me because the way I shoot, I always pull a little bit low left with a with polymer frame. So, well, with pretty much anything. <laughs> it depends on it. But anyway, I think it did real well out of the box. And we got we tried uh, two different types of hollow points. Actually, three different types of hollow points. Several different types of full metal jacket. And it ran just fine. Again, for the Sierra ammo and the Callaway ammo, thank you to SierraBullets.com. And thank you to CallawayBallistics.com. And, uh, Big shout out to White Oak Armory on their $25 transfer fee plus $10 background check. I thought that was pretty good. They was pretty good to me on that. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I sure enjoyed shooting this thing and getting to try it out. And I'll catch y'all next time. Well, Rusty will catch you all next time. I don't get to do as many videos. But I'm Carl, Rusty's cousin. Most folks call it the sling blade, but I call it the Kaiser blade. Mm -hmm. Love y'all.